Too impatient for the elevator, I ran to the stairs, and Diesel scampered up ahead of me. My heart thudded in my chest, and sweat dripped down my face, but I pressed on. I prayed I wouldn't collapse before I found my daughter safe and sound. Laura's office was at the end of the hall, away from the stairs. I ran down the empty hall. Diesel was still slightly ahead of me. How he knew where we were going, I had no clue, but he was straining at the leash, trying to pull free. I let him go, and he beat me to Laura's door by a full five seconds. When I reached the door, I had to pause to catch my breath. I couldn't speak, because I was gulping in air. Diesel meowed loudly and scratched at the door, which was slightly ajar. His weight forced it open, and my heart almost filled me when I caught my first glimpse of the interior. Books and papers lay scattered about. I stepped into the doorway, and still struggling to breathe freely, croaked out my daughter's name. A telephone began to ring, and I recognized the ringtone as Laura's. I took another step inside. To my right, perhaps two feet away, was a wall covered with overloaded bookshelves. To my left was a desk, and my heart almost stopped when I saw a woman kneeling over a body on the floor, between the desk and another wall of shelves behind it. Diesel disappeared round the edge of the desk, but I heard him chirping and meowing in distress. The sight of my daughter's body on the floor terrified me so that I couldn't speak. Then I could see Diesel licking Laura's face. The woman startled and sat back on her heels. What are you doing? I finally found my voice and my legs worked again. I strode around the side of the desk and grasped the strange woman's shoulder. She turned her head to look up at me, her expression mirroring the fear of my own. I'm trying to help her, she said. She struggled to loosen my hand from her shoulder. Who the hell are you? Her father, I said, pushing her nun too gently out of the way. I dropped to my knees on the worn carpet beside Laura. Her eyes were closed, but her breathing was regular. She looked like she was sleeping. I grasped her hands in mine. They were cold. I started rubbing them, trying to warn them. Laura, honey, can you hear me?